It's time to learn about radians. These are what mathematicians usually use to measure angles. Outside of math, degrees are generally used, but these are somewhat arbitrary in that they don't arise from a natural property of an angle. We want to define radians to be a measure of angles that comes from something inherent in the angles themselves. So let's start with an angle called theta. For convenience, we'll let both legs of the angle have the same length, called r. Imagine the vertex of the angle being the center of a circle, so the angle defines an arc of length a. As the size of the circle changes, in other words, as r changes, a changes too. But if we divide by r, we get a ratio that's independent of the size of the circle. Therefore, the radian measure of theta is defined as the ratio of a over r. It's worth noting that if the circle has radius 1, then the measure of the angle in radians is just the length of the arc a. This means that it's often convenient to let r be 1. Another thing is that the arc isn't determined just by where the angle ends, because the angle could go around the circle one or more times, and the radian measure uses the entire arc, just as with degrees. So let's compare radians to degrees. First, we'll need to find how many radians are in the circle. In other words, how many radians are in 360 degrees. To do this, all we need to know is the relationship between the circumference and the radius of a circle, which is c equals 2 pi r, or simply c equals 2 pi for a unit circle. This means that the circle has 2 pi radians, so 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi radians. From this, we can convert any degree measure to radians, and any radian measure to degrees. Let's start with some common angles. First, 180 degrees. This is half of the circle, so its radian measure is half of 2 pi, which is pi. Similarly, 90 degrees is 1 quarter of the circle, so its radian measure is 1 quarter of 2 pi, which is pi over 2. We can do the same thing for 60, 45, and 30 degrees. Let's now see how to handle less straightforward angles. The ratio of an angle measured in radians over 2 pi is equal to the corresponding ratio in degrees. So to convert from one unit to the other, you can solve in this equation for the measure you want. For example, if you want to know how many degrees are in one radian, you can set x equal to the degree measure of theta and use this equation to solve for x. This gives us 1 over 2 pi equals x over 360, so x simplifies to 180 over pi, which is about 57.3 degrees.